All right, so we're gonna go in today and be talking about ClickUp and how you can create templates. So this is really handy and it comes in really handy for me today because I literally created something that needed to be made into a template. Wanted to share with you a little bit about why and then how you can do that. So let's get into that. First of all, I'm Adam Moody with Productivity Academy. Uh, if you like these videos, leave a comment. If you have a question, leave me a comment. Happy to get back to you and uh, explain more, maybe in a future video if I left something out. But uh, let's talk about this. So right now we're looking inside of a folder. Uh, let's see if I can move my face out of the way here. And you can see in here we've got uh, things set up uh, in ClickUp and we have a folder called New Writer Trial Template, which I just created. And then within there we have two lists. And this is just the way we decided to set this up uh, for this one. Uh, and I wanted to let you know first that you can basically create a template out of anything. You can create a space template a uh, folder template, a list template, and you know, so basically at all uh, levels in the hierarchy, you can create a template. So for this case, we wanted a folder. Maybe you would just want to create um, this list into one. And this has subtasks within it, which have subtasks within that. Uh, but let's start here. The easiest way for on the folder level that I know of to do this is to actually use your sidebar and then right here, folder settings, and we can then uh, go in and you go to the template center. And again, let me move my face over. We can save as, update existing, or you can go in and look at your templates. So that's what I did. I saved as a template and you just need to give it a name. You can add a description if you want, you can add tags, and then this other important information. And this is stuff you have to fill out every time. Generally, it's uh, set up pretty well. So you just need to give it a name you probably want to share it with everyone on your team. If you want to public share it, you can, and then you could either customize what you bring in or leave it as, hey, just bring it in so it's a blank template. Okay, I'm not going to save this because I've already done that. But that in the most basic level is how easy it is. So let's say that you wanted uh, to create a folder. Then we would come in here, create new folder, or we could go into the templates and browse. And then you can come in and choose from one of your custom templates if you've already saved it like we just did, or you can choose from all of theirs. And there's obviously a lot of templates, right? So here you go. We can see right there that I can click on that and begin using my new folder. All right, so now let's go in and let's see if I can get that to go back in. There we go. Now let's take a look at this. Okay, so what we're looking at with this is these lists. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and now we can either come over here and we can see that, oh, that's right. I think it used to be there or I just got mixed up. Sometimes this even for me is the part uh, where it can be confusing exactly where you have to go to uh, save or um, incorporate something as a template. So if we click into the list, we come up here and now we get the settings. Uh, and so we can come in here for the task and click on that. And we can either convert it if we wanna make it into a list, we can do a lot of other things, but again, you have the template center and you can save it as a template, you can browse templates, you could add things to this uh, as you need. So hopefully this helps you out. And uh, as far as getting started, uh, if you have any questions about how to do this, uh, let me know. But this can save you a ton of time. For an example, just to let you know some of the background on this, what I'm doing is working with three different writers on a 14-day trial, and we want to, to have a fairly standardized procedure. Great. So we create week one, week two assignments, and then from there, they can go in uh, at once we've cloned this or duplicated it because it's a template, so now it's really easy. We can then go in and assign stuff to them and do that really easily instead of having to set this up manually each time or having it located somewhere else and just creating a task and then saying, well, go look at all of this other stuff. Now it's all in ClickUp. It's easy to duplicate, right, at, from a template. And then someone can go through and just assign things to them and we can now communicate in ClickUp. So really, really handy. Um, highly suggest making use of templates as soon as you can just to get the feel for it. Uh, and then you can start seeing where maybe you could start using them internally as well. So. Again, hope this helped you out with uh, ClickUp templates. Let me know if you got any questions.